The holidays can be overstimulating for anyone, but especially our children with disabilities. That's why today I've got five tips for how to manage holiday overstimulation so everyone in your family can enjoy Christmas. Hi, I'm Kelly Manton, the founder of Accepting the Gift, a ministry for Catholic special needs parents. While the focus of Christmas should be on joining together with friends and family and celebrating the birth of Jesus, it's often these very same gatherings that can be a source of stress or anxiety for special needs children who are overly stimulated. And while every child is unique, there are some things you can do to try to make the holidays easier for you and your child to manage. First, pad all your celebrations and activities with lots of downtime. Try to focus on just one thing at a time. For example, bake cookies on one day and wrap gifts on another. Visit your relatives at one house on one day, then maybe spend a day at home doing something as a family, and then visit other family members on that next day. Acknowledge that you may not get to do everything you want during the Christmas season, you know, and that's okay. So focus on what's most important for your family and then give yourself time to truly enjoy it. Number two is offer a quiet refuge. Before heading out or doing some activity, have a plan in place in case your child starts feeling overstimulated. Let them know that they can always tell you how they're feeling. So if you're at a family or a friend's house, you know, is there a quiet bedroom that your child can go to to kind of calm down? Can you take them out to your car and just sit with them for a few moments? Are there headphones or earplugs that you should pack and take along? Work on these things in advance so that you know how to offer your child that quiet refuge in case they do start to feel overstimulated. Number three, try to eat something beforehand and allow a little bit of flexibility with food. If you're not sure what kind of food will be provided at a party, make sure that you offer your child a healthy snack that they like before you head out. And you might even want to pack some snacks or drinks as well. You know, and except for some allergies, you want to try to allow flexibility with your kids in regards to food. And I know this can be a sensitive area, especially when you're dealing with friends and family who probably don't understand the unique needs of your child. But try to avoid battles. The holidays really aren't the time to be going head to head on something like this. But again, here's where kind of spreading out your celebrations, padding in that extra time can really help because then you'll have the opportunity to make sure your child is properly fed before or after these events rather than rushing from event to event to event and then who knows how they'll be eating, what they'll be eating, and how that will be um, affecting them. Number four, have a plan for whatever it is that you're choosing to do. Talk to your child about your holiday plans and what they can expect, whether it's just a day at home that's different from their normal routine, or is it going to be a day spent visiting family and traveling out and about? Answer any questions that they may have and reassure them that they can always take a quiet break away from the activity if they need to. Remember, try to offer that quiet refuge. Listen and be sure to take their concerns into consideration when planning as well. Number five, cling to the real meaning of Christmas. Remember, it's about Jesus. It's not about all that other stuff, as nice as it all may be. You can do less decorations, you can do less presents, you can do less traveling, you can make less food, and it's still Christmas. So focus on finding joy in the season in the way that works best for your family and give up things, if only for a year, that is creating more anxiety and stress than you can manage for yourself or your child. So pad your celebrations with downtime, offer a quiet refuge, have healthy snacks and meals prepared for your child, have a plan for your day that you share with your child, and remember the true reason for the season at all times. What would you add? Be sure to share your tips in the comments below and then check out this next video. And in the meantime, have a Merry Christmas.